the Anointed One's throne room. Bastoyans would come here to beg for her aid or to answer for breaking the cult's law. Her subjects obeyed her out of fear. I should be so lucky. <laughs> Just a little joke. It sounds horrible. There's no sign of anything out of the ordinary. If the assassins opened the sky portal, perhaps they left the rest of the temple alone. So you think this decor... It's not weird at all. Hmm. Hopefully, with this shadow stone, Nuna can control her vision and so focus on and remember the important details. As before, Nuna starts the ritual, but with nothing about to attack her, <laughs> it should go quickly and smoothly this time. Mm, of course. Right? This seems bad, but Nuna assures the scoundrels this is meant to happen. The throne room's shadow stone was used to supplement her power when necessary. Uh, this, on the other hand, is definitely bad. Somehow, the throne is redirecting the stone's energy. Ah, uh, the assassins must be behind this. That statue is now infused with the dark energies of the realm outside, and Nuna can feel another surge coming. Just when you think things can't get any worse. The first Bastoyan is Aldos, leader of the rebels who deposed the Anointed One, chasing Nuna from the island. Oh, they recognize her instantly. Oh, you have a brief moment to act before all hell breaks loose. Use it wisely. Oh, I mean, I don't necessarily care what I will do. Aldos and the Bastoyans are shocked to see the Anointed One. Maybe one of your scoundrels can convince them you're here to help. The scoundrel tells the truth about the assassin's sabotage, and Aldos's expression reveals this makes sense of something he's seen. Very well. We'll gather at the temple entrance. But this isn't over yet. Aldos orders the other Bastoyans out, keeping an eye on the monsters near the throne. I believe you, Anointed One, but I'd be a fool to trust you. It's clear the Alliance is temporary. Aldos hasn't forgotten Nuna's decades of cruelty. Wow, I dodged a whole combat scenario. The realm outside's energy is animating the statue. If a scoundrel can push hard enough, they might be able to topple it, smashing it before it can come alive. That was a mighty shove. The statue smashes into the temple floor. A chill fills the room as the shadow stone weakens the barrier to the realm outside. Shadow things hungrily push their way through. Nuna completes her scrying ritual, and the glimpses she had before come sharply into focus. She gasps, the images swirling. But knowledge acquired through magic takes time to settle in the mind. Escape first, exposition later. But your enemies won't let you leave without a fight. Wow, that's pretty big. I wonder if he's immune to stun or something. Okay, so I'll manage. This seems easy. <laughs> I will keep telling that, but... I have some really good stuff. I don't think boss is like that, or if it's not even a boss should have a resistance. But it's cool with me. <laughs> I 
just tank for me. Yeah, I'm not summoning this creature. Finish this now. Victory! But since you convinced the Bastoyans to leave, no one saw your heroics. <laughs> they still might not trust you. No good deed goes unpunished, as they say. There are shouts and crashes from the courtyard, but it's the only way back to your ship. I guess. The stage would be way harder if I would not convince them. It's very cool. <laughs> you have the vision you came for, but Nuna needs some time to rest before she can share it. Time to get out of the temple and off this island. Wow, that fast? Outside the temple, all is not well on the island of Bastoya. The energy stirred up by Nuna's use of the shadow stones have allowed shadow things to swarm in the courtyard. The tampering in the throne room has directed dark energies into the courtyard statues as well. Sekvan is here too, still exultant at Nuna's return. But you can't help but notice the shadow creatures aren't attacking him. Maybe he could help you somehow. Aldos, true to his word, has arrived in the courtyard with a group of armed Bastoyans ready to fight off the creatures. And perhaps you. There's currently no safe path off the island. You'll have to destroy the shadow things or find another way to exit. Oh my... Chaos. What? Okay. Hopefully they will help us. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's a minor statue. Okay. I can kill everyone then. <laughs> I don't remember if they attack each other. It's fine. what I'm doing. It's been a while that I played this game. Just as I thought, trash. I guess I should just not go to this side. Counter. Okay, <laughs> so that's how it works. I don't think that's gonna trigger when I will die instantly, right?
Wait a minute. Why are I not dead? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is it immortal? So confusing. Okay. I'm not sure if I should bother with those statues. They seem to be busy. hesitate before stealing themselves and fighting on. You realize this small force is their last best hope. All that stands between the island and destruction. If the Bastorians lose many more of their numbers, it's hard to imagine the island will survive once you leave. <laughs> okay, I'll help them. <laughs> If that's the case... The shadow things are gonna keep coming, no matter how many you destroy. You'll need to enlist some help to clear a path back to the ship. Well, this dude has too many stars for my taste. I guess they are immortal. I wish it would say though in the tooltip. to know where you are. Bastoians are as frightened of the shadow things as of Nuna. If your scoundrel can convince Aldos you're on the same side, you can work together. Cooperate. Aldos lists Nuna's crimes. Loath to believe your scoundrel's desire to help, but he's uncertain. Your scoundrel could convince him. It'll just take more time. Traitors! 
sec fan's voice carries across the courtyard. You are not worthy to the anointed one. Oh, thing outside, great beast, send your children to destroy the faithless. You asshole. What the hell? Aldos is coming around. Your scoundrel nearly has him convinced. <laughs> Jesus. Y'all die. Everyone. Oh, thanks. <laughs> because it seemed to be covering everything. <laughs> Not zero. <laughs> <laughs> Swayed by your scoundrel's words and the evidence before him, Aldos finally nods. Bestoyans, the Anointed One and her friends stand with us against the darkness. We fight together. The Bestoyans shift their attention to the shadow things. Is that an exit? Well, I guess they're not moving, so... It seems like we're just leaving them with their thing. Will Bestoya survive this? Well... They are immortal anyways, right? And this... I don't know. But Aldos sees your betrayal. I should have known. Fly if you want, anointed one. But we shall have our revenge. No, no. No, 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 no. I thought that was the right decision. But Aldos sees your betrayal. <laughs> no. I should have known. Fly if you want, anointed one. But we shall have our revenge. On the way to the ship, the scoundrels hear horrifying noises from the island. Oh my god. Really? Uh, I'll go with it, like, it doesn't seem that I could do anything. An entire island destroyed. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a first, even for those scoundrels. Lucky for them, no witnesses survived. 